Most indicators give you the same signals whether we're in a bull run or a crash. The SFX Algo Toolkit claims to do something different. It adapts by learning which signals are currently working and adjusting their weight accordingly. Today, I'm testing this system against Bitcoin data to see whether the adaptive approach actually makes a difference. Huge thanks to Flux Charts for sponsoring this video. And of course, this isn't financial advice, so do your own research and trade responsibly. Most traders have experienced this. You find indicator settings that work well in current market conditions. But when the market shifts from trending to sideways action, those same settings start generating poor signals. Traditional indicators use fixed parameters. They calculate the same way whether Bitcoin is in a strong uptrend or chopping sideways in a range. They also typically focus only on entry signals, leaving decisions about stop losses, profit targets, and position management up to the trader. You end up constantly tweaking settings or second-guessing signals based on your read of market conditions. The SFX algo claims to address this by automatically adjusting its signal weighting. If you watched my previous detailed review of the SFX Algo Toolkit, you already know this isn't your typical indicator. For those who missed it, here's the quick summary. This uses an adjusted weighted majority algorithm that learns from market conditions. It gives more weight to indicators that are currently performing well. You get three trading styles, scalper, day trader, and swing trader, plus complete trade management with multiple take profits, smart stop losses, and re-entry capabilities. The AI Sensitivity Optimizer automatically adjusts settings based on current market volatility, and the Gauss Ribbon with Volatility Bands helps you visualize trend strength and market conditions. But today, we're focusing on the real question. Does it actually make money? Let's put it to the test. Before we dive into the results, let me explain the testing tool I'm using. It's the SFX Backtester, which is part of Fluxchart's premium package and specifically designed for the SFX Algo Toolkit. It includes all the complex logic, the multi-timeframe signals, volatility band retests, retracement wave conditions, and the step-by-step -step execution system that the actual indicator uses, meaning you can create highly sophisticated strategies that match real-world trading scenarios. The backtester also includes advanced features like trailing stops, break-even moves, session-based trading windows, and multiple take-profit methods, all of which sync with how you'd actually configure the live indicator. For this comprehensive test, I'm using an eight-year backtesting period from August 2017 to September 2025. This gives us multiple complete market cycles, including the 2017 crypto bubble, the 2018 to 2019 bear market, the COVID crash and recovery, and recent market conditions. I've configured the SFX algo for swing trading on daily timeframes. This approach tends to be more stable and less prone to market noise. The settings are swing trader style with long-term trend analysis, sensitivity at seven, and the AI sensitivity optimizer enabled to adapt to changing market conditions. The strategy uses a straightforward approach. It enters long positions on bullish signals and short positions on bearish signals, both triggered at step one of the algorithm's logic. Step one refers to the algorithm's hierarchical logic system. The SFX algo evaluates multiple conditions in sequence. Step one is the primary signal tier that must be satisfied before considering additional confirmations. Think of it as the main entry trigger. The system is configured to exit positions on opposite signals. So longs close when bearish signals appear and vice versa. The stop loss is set using the key levels method. Key levels are algorithmically identified support and resistance zones based on price action, volume, and market structure. Rather than using round numbers or fixed percentages, the system analyzes where price has historically reacted, previous swing highs and lows, volume clusters, and breakout levels. This creates more relevant, market-driven exit points. The system allows re-entry after stopouts, but the primary exit mechanism is the trend reversal detection, rather than fixed profit targets. As you can see, the configuration possibilities are endless, but I'll leave that for you to explore. Today I'll show you the basics of what this setup can do and the potential results you can achieve, and maybe you can even improve on what I'm about to show you.
For trade management, the backtester is set with $100,000 starting capital, 30% position sizing per trade, and realistic buy bit fees at 0.05% and slippage. While some traders might use leverage to achieve similar position sizes with smaller capital, that introduces additional risks like liquidation and funding fees that aren't captured in this backtest. The results show a total P&L of plus $277,302. That's 277% return, with a maximum drawdown of only 16.88%. Out of 30 total trades, the win rate sits at 46.6%, with a profit factor of 2.7. A 46% win rate might seem modest, but this is typical for trend-following systems. Fewer trades where winners significantly outweigh losers. The equity curve shows consistent growth through major market crashes, including the 2018 crypto winter, March 2020 crash, and 2022 bear market. While Bitcoin's overall trend has been upward, the strategy's advantage isn't just total returns, it's the significantly reduced drawdowns and the to profit from both bull and bear markets. The maximum 16.88% drawdown compared to Bitcoin's 80 plus percent crashes shows the value of active management over passive holding. The AI Sensitivity Optimizer shows clear impact on performance. With it disabled, the strategy generated $91,394 from 24 trades with a 1.66 profit factor. With it enabled, we see $277,302 from 30 trades with a 2.7 profit factor. This demonstrates the adaptive algorithm in practice. It identifies higher probability setups by analyzing current market volatility and momentum. When conditions favor the strategy, it becomes more responsive. During uncertain periods, it stays conservative. The AI-enabled version generated nearly triple the profits with similar trade frequency, significantly improving trade quality during favorable market conditions. These backtest results show the SFX algo's potential in a swing trading configuration on daily timeframes. However, different trading styles require different approaches. Scalping setups would use much shorter timeframes and different sensitivity settings, while longer-term position trading favor more conservative parameters. Remember that past performance doesn't guarantee future results, and backtesting doesn't account for all real-world factors like slippage during volatile periods, funding costs, or the psychological pressure of live trading. What works in historical data may not perform identically in current market conditions. If you're interested in testing the indicator yourself, there's a discount link in the description. As always, only risk capital you can afford to lose.